Welcome back to Bayou Time. I'm Martin Falls. We're now going to switch to a more serious topic with the Sheriff of Terrebonne Parish. And, and Sheriff, been riding with you for a long time on sting operations, numerous ones. There's too many to count at this point. But last week, another nationwide synthetic drug bust, Project Synergy 3. We all know what Project Synergy is because Terrebonne Parish was involved in that with the DEA, your office, and other law enforcement agencies. In that bust, one store in Birmingham, Alabama, up to $40 million, went through a convenience store, and they traced the monies back to Yemen. I know we've talked about it a lot. In Terrebonne Parish, in your own words, is Terrebonne now one of those places that bad people, when I say bad people, that people are using to funnel money back to Middle Eastern countries? Martin, it's, it's not only Middle Eastern countries, uh, they're funneling it back to Mexico. We've worked several cases uh, with DEA where the money was funneled not only to the Middle Eastern uh, countries, but also to Mexico. Uh, let's face it, uh, we're very prosperous here in, in America and in the world, and people not only want our money, but they also want to kill our kids. They want to sell this poison to, to kill our young children's brains. There's no doubt about it. A lot of people uh, don't have a clue what goes on in law enforcement, and uh, it's unfortunate that they don't look at the big picture, look at the world news, and look at the local news and state news. But it's unfortunate that when we as Americans invite anybody from another country to come here and live and raise a family, that they want to come here and not only take our money, but also kill our children. And it has happened here in Terrebonne Parish. It probably still is happening in Terrebonne Parish. You think ISIS is not going to implant some terrorists in these refugees? We know they will. The federal government is saying it now that they know they will. So hopefully, if we do take any refugees from the Middle East, hopefully they can all be screened where they come in here for the American dream and not come in here to kill our kids and then send our money back. Look, I mean, you, you're talking about millions and millions, perhaps billions of dollars that is coming here. Uh, these people open up a business and yet send it back to a terrorist country. Why not leave the money here, spend the money here, buy homes, why not hire more people? You know, circulate that money here. We have people coming here. We're inviting people here. Give them a tax break, and then they send all the profits overseas. Something's wrong with that picture. Let me ask you, y'all were involved also in Project Synergy 2. Uh, I want to just point blank ask you, have you traced monies from Terrebonne Parish back to the Middle East and terrorism? DEA has. We, we can't go outside our, our domain, Understood. which is terrible in Paris. Understood. And that's why we brought in the federal agencies. And the federal agencies trace money back to Yemen. Without a doubt, money going back to Yemen. We seize, in that particular operation, we seize about 1.6, 1.7 million. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the uh, co-defendants have pled. Uh, we're going to trial with, with the rest. Our di district attorneys adamantly going after them. Uh, some of them got serious time already. Some of them have given up their assets. And, uh, you know, we, we're going after their assets. There's no ifs and buts about it. Uh, the federal courts allowed us to do it. Uh, these individuals are coming here, like, like I told you. We believe they're coming here not only to make a profit, but they're also coming here to hurt our children. When you're going to sell drugs out of, out of any business, a convenience store, if you can't make, if you can't make a legitimate profit, by doing the right thing, like the rest of, of, of whoever it may be, Americans or, or Mexicans or Orientals that are, that are opening up a shop, if you can't make a profit legitimately, you, we need to shut you down. And that's what we're going yeah. after. When we try to do research on stores and we try to find out ownership, we, we find it morphs a lot. It changes a lot, more than any other business that I've ever seen. Names are constantly changing. Is this something that y'all constantly fight? Is it a shell game? Let me tell you, Martin, it's not only a shell game for illegal uh, narcotics activity. He's probably a convicted felon. So what they do, they get the names in other people. They get the ownership in other people's names so that they can operate. So that they can get a, a, a legitimate uh, uh, liquor license. 
because maybe they've had a shady past where they have may, may have been arrested previously for, for other charges. It could be, could be anything. So uh, yes, the shell game goes on in a lot of these activities where individuals don't want their name nowhere around or they're a silent partner that has happened a lot. And that's what makes it so difficult when, whenever we uh, pull up, try to pull up sales taxes, we try to pull up uh, occupational license or through the sec Secretary of State license that we have to pull up. And it, it makes it difficult sometimes to find out sometimes the true owners of, of these facilities. Is there a predominant nationality that you're seeing with the Sheriff's Department that is moving in all of these states in moving months? Oh, that's no doubt, uh, Martin. I mean, uh, you know, through the Sheriff's Association, we've been monitoring this, all the sheriffs in Louisiana. We monitor what trend goes around our country. Uh, just recently, a couple months ago, New York had, had a, on their on a web page and, and Fox had New York is just experiencing synthetic marijuana. We've been experiencing that. And you brought it up in 09. I wasn't sheriff in 09. When I came back, I heard about it and we done something about it. We arrested a lot of people. We think we put a big dent here in the parish, but we know it's still here. We do know it's still here. But across America now, synthetic marijuana is r running rampant throughout other states. People are falling out on the streets in New York. It's something new to them. If you look at all these critical incidents we've been having, which we hadn't had before, and if you go back and if you can really look at all these individuals who are out there killing these innocent people in churches, in schools, in, in uh, movie theaters, I guarantee you, I guarantee you the majority of them were probably using some of the synthetic marijuana, mojo, bad salts, because at times, at the times they're arrested, they're not tested. They're not tested for drugs. But yet the family says they have a mental problem. Well, if your brain is fried from synthetic marijuana, from crystal meth, from heroin, yes, you've got a mental problem. But that's a self-induced mental problem mm -hmm. and should be classified differently. But all across America, we're seeing this in law enforcement. We're seeing all these new designer drugs are coming, and none of these drugs are made in America. They're either made in China, Mexico, or the Middle East. Let me ask you this. In your 25 years as sheriff, did you ever think we'd be sitting on a news desk and talking about Terrebonne and Terrebonne in the same sentence? No, Mark, because l let me tell you, in, in a way I knew, because listen, I, I am a veteran, I've been overseas, and I see what other countries, other countries hate Americans. Even though we've liberated these countries, for some reason, they hate us. And if we don't have a strong leader, they're going to hate us even more. Mm -hmm. and, and what I see, and I've seen here in, in, uh, when America was attacked in 9-11, you actually had a doctor who was deported from a local hospital because he denounced our president. He came in through Middle Easterner, came in through Canada on a visa. We also had, I had individuals come to me and gave me sworn statements from Middle Easterners that were standing up cheering when the planes were going through the World Trade Centers. So when you look at America, how, how America has been over the years, we've been strong and other people are jealous whether it's other countries are jealous of Americans, or other journalists are jealous of Martin Falls, or other people are jealous of Jerry Larpin of being sheriff. You have jealousy. And it's a shame that these countries want to come over here and hurt us. When we are mainly trying to help them be a democratic society, which in fact they don't want. You know, you can't change people's religious beliefs. And I hate to say it, when, when, when you have people who believe in, in deheading people for no reason at all, I don't know how we're going to con convince them to live a normal life. And if you remember back in when Japan was at war with America, they took no very seldom took a prisoner, and they had kamikaze pilots that would die for the emperor. So when you have people across the world who are hatred of Americans, but yet we're inviting them here. We've even documented recently where we, we have had a Middle Easterner is coming over here with a student visa, enroll in different colleges, and never show up. But yet they're here working at some of our convenience stores. Mm -hmm. And that's being done all over the country. We don't have a unified system to track 
illegal aliens or really legal, legal, legal individuals that come from abroad. And that's what's scary about, about America. That's what's scary about America. I, I could go on for a long time and tell you some of the ills that we have in America. But we all have to stick together. And we all need to be Americans rather than labeling us as something else. I'm not a, even though I'm a French descendant, I'm an American. And I think we all need to be Americans and come together and really stick up for America. Sheriff, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, 25 years, congratulations again on your 25 years. Oh, and uh, you. you got more counting too. So, uh, and we look forward to having you back on the set. Thank you so much. And again, thank the public for, for really supporting me in my office. Thank you. All right. Once again, the Sheriff of Terrebonne Parish, Sheriff Jerry J. Larpenter, will take a break. We'll continue with more on Bayou Time.